I think it means more uh, than just the coaches and the players because it's such a long-standing, well-respected rivalry. It, it 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 goes well beyond that to you know fathers, grandfathers, guys that have played in the game a long time ago, uh, the entire community. Uh, you'll just see a lot of people out supporting both teams and uh, a ton of excitement that's generated throughout the week. I know that since they played so many times that, that the uh, adults and the older community members, even if they don't have kids here, take pride in, in a victory and I know the losses is something they, would, they do not want. Uh, I, I think both communities have had great athletic success and they want to see it continue and they want to see it on display Friday night. Well, I mean, when I first moved here five years ago, it was, you know, funny how you'd, how you'd meet someone for the first time and, you know, they, they would kind of jokingly tell you that, you know, they're, they're with you uh, as long as you win the Moline game, you know, and it was like there was only one game that mattered on the schedule and you had to win that game. And, you know, it, it is kind of funny how, how that's thought of, but it's also reality in a way. Like I said, that, uh, you know, it's bragging rights for a year. Given the lineage of my, my family, going back with my dad and my brother and myself, it's always, Moline, you, you, could, you could go 0-8 or 0-7 as far as football goes, but if you got that W against Moline, you had, you had a relatively successful season. Well, obviously you always want to come out on top, again, whoever you're playing, but this one's just a little bit more. You know, it's, it's Moline Rocky, and this is one that, that you can brag, brag about for years to come. I, I think they want to do well. Uh, you mentioned bragging rights earlier. I think they brag about any win that they might get. But I, I think they know so many kids from Rock Island. They all interact a lot better than, than in the old days. Before everybody was you know, enemies and you didn't talk or you didn't communicate. Now they all have each other's cell phone numbers and it's all on Twitter and whatever social media happens to be the, in vogue right now. So they know each other. So I, I do think that there's a lot of personal pride at stake. Just the, uh, I feel like uh, the the community just makes it really, really big just because they come in and support us and just watch and enjoy the, the game. So it makes it a lot of fun. We see a lot of Moline kids and they'll like talk to us about it and brag about it the rest of the game and that just bothers us to no end. So we have to have those bragging rights to just say who we are. In my first year here, uh, you know, people would talk to me about the rivalry, and uh, it, I guess there was a fight like a hundred years ago, uh, and they stopped the game for a year or two, uh, so that it was played up that whole week about the hundred-year rivalry, and there was a late hit out of bounds, and it it, it erupted into. You know, the sidelines kind of getting into it a little bit, and we had to break that up. I'd never experienced something like that, so when I saw that, I definitely realized that this game had some more history and meaning behind it. Um, you know, but in the end, I think it's it's a it's all about sportsmanship. I know last year their their running back had a tremendous game, and our kids were just you know, patting him on the back and shaking his hand after the game. So I think that's one of the nice things about the rivalry too as well. The kids understand on the field that there's a, there's a high level of respect uh, for the game itself that, uh, you know, they, they don't want to take it out of context like it had 100 years ago, you know, uh, and unfortunately weren't able to play the game for a year or two. So I think our guys understand that, you know, this this is, you know, a big game with you know major implications for their communities and uh, they just want to make sure that they do both communities proud.